What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to properly install the Linksys WRT1900 AC Smart Router and um, I would first like to apologize for my camera quality, I'm using a GoPro Hero for Black so yeah, it's, it's shooting in 4K so that should be fine so I'm going to show you how to install that router right there so let's get right into it, starting with the back of it that's the internet cable that runs to the back of your computer, it provides your desktop computer with internet. That computer, this cable goes to your modem, which is provided by your internet provider, and that just is the internet cable that um, runs it all. That is the AC cable that just powers the router. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to install this. This is the actual networking steps now. So this user manual comes with your router. It pretty much you could follow that and not even watch this tutorial. So I highly suggest you doing that because just read it over and it will help you a lot because I did that and I didn't even need a tutorial so I'm just making it for becoming good if people can't understand it which is totally understandable because I'm actually tech savvy so right now you're, there should be a solid blue light and a blinking blue light if there isn't like I have a blinking orange just because I already went through some of the steps but um, on the user start guide, go to linksysmartwifi.com or if you just click on your browser, it should pop up. If it doesn't, type it into the browser and this will come up. Um, just click the next arrow. Um, it just, it's the standard setup. So um, yeah, just click next. This will come up. It's restarting your modem. You have to unplug it for two minutes and um, which I already did and then you have to plug it back in which I'm doing right now after two minutes so those four steps are really self-explanatory I'm sure you guys can do them on your own so yeah that's pretty easy it's just resetting your modem so that the router can connect to it better than it already is <coughs> so um, yeah once that is all kind of reset you can click next and there you should have a proper internet connection don't connect yet but you do have a solid internet connection and click next now it has to go through an important update that's kind of long so I'm going to cut the video just click next on um, all this stuff it updates your router for a little bit and then comes to your personalized uh, network stuff um, this you can write it down now or later. I didn't really know that it pops up later saying that you should write it down then instead of now. So because things will be changed. So I suggest just leaving that. Um, there it updates again. And then now you have to create a router password. Which then again you could write it down now or save it for later. And um, here I'm kind of creating a custom one. I just did my phone number. I don't really care if you guys see it because... Um, and then click next. The router is now set up. I suggest taking a picture of the, this or this is where you write it all down in the user manual because they suggest it then. And now I'm going to show you how to change your password because you don't want it to be all those humble jumbles of letters and numbers like it is right there. So um, I went to um, I just clicked on the network that I wanted to change, clicked on the password and it brought me to this. And then I pretty much just clicked in the password blank and um, just changed it. And that's my phone number if you guys want to call me, whatever. I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> I just changed it for both because I have a 2.5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz router, so it spreads it. And then apply it and it will update your network settings. Your network will go down. So it's not a problem, but click yes, then OK. And it'll load. Once again, I'm very sorry for the quality of this video. It's shot with a GoPro Hero 4 Black, which isn't the best to shoot tutorials of, but whatever. So yeah, um, your network is now set up. You've created your password and everything. So um, yeah, that, that should be better. I'm just going to show you that it does work and that 
um, it shows up and the password that I entered just now will work. So entering my password. Oh, it flipped on my printer. Okay. Um, so go back. Yeah, okay. So now I enter my password into my actual Wi Fi and it will connect flawlessly. This Wi Fi router is great. Um, I've used it a little bit so far just after this tutorial and um, it's really, really strong compared to my last one. It was really old. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. Please share this if people have troubles, um, and this should work for most routers. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching again, and stay tuned for more tutorials.